What are the main difference between phonemes and syllables? That is what we are going to discuss in this topic or session. So the main difference between syllables and phonemes are that phoneme are the smallest units of a word. For example, if we take the word cat, we will be having three different phonemes like k, a and t. And when we take the word dog, Again, it will be having three different constituents or individual sound units like D, O, G. And that is what phoneme of a word. Whereas, syllables are like the beats of music. For example, if we have a beat, that is that will be like T, 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 T. So, just like that, syllables are actually the unit of sounds in a particular word. And when we utter a word, we will make some pauses. Okay. So, for example, if I am saying the word apple, apple. So, I am making a pause in between am and pull. Isn't it? So, that pause is syllable. That pause in the sense of when we are making a pause, the units are made. Isn't it? One sound unit, one sound unit. So, uh, when we again take the word apple, ab is one group of letters or sounds and pearl is another group of uh, sounds. So, that is called syllables. The smallest sound units. Why we are calling it as sound units? Because they are connected together. Isn't it? They are or they belong to the same group category. When we take a pose, those sounds becomes a unit those sounds become a unit isn't it a unit of sound so that is called a syllable in a word uh, for example if you if i uh, say the word butterfly butterfly we are having three syllables like ba ta fla three syllables we have and uh, three sound units in other words we can say that uh, it is uh, that word butterfly is having three different uh, sound units ba ta fla so it is just like the beats of music. Why it is like a beats of music? Like when we have the one beat, t, dog, cat, meat, pen. We are having one single beat. We are not taking a pause in between the letters of that word. But when we take the word like apple, orange, we are taking a break or pause. That is like two beats of a music. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. So apple, ta ta. Two beats of a music. So that's called a syllable of a particular word. So syllables are the smallest sound units of a word or when we utter a word or when we produce a word we will make certain pauses in that particular word or we will make some units of sounds or a group of sounds and that group of sounds in a word is called syllables and syllables are very different from phonemes phonemes are the sounds independent sounds like k a t but syllables are more different from that syllables are the sound units maybe one syllable will have only one sound or maybe one syllable will have two sounds or two units of sounds okay depends so when i take the uh, when we take another word for example waterfall waterfall so here we are having three syllables waterfall waterfall we are having three syllables of that particular word so depending on the number of syllables in a word the words or the syllables are divided into monosyllabic which will be having only one syllable like cat dog meat pen and all and we are having uh, disyllabic words, for example, uh, disyllabic words in the sense when we are uttering the words like apple, it's having two syllables, apple, orange. So these words are called disyllabic words. Or we will have trisyllabic words where we will be having three syllables in a particular word or we will be having three syllables on that word. Or we will be having more than three syllables. Okay. When we take the case of another words, that word will be having more than three syllables. So that is called polysyllabic because it is having more than four or more than five or more than six. So these words are called polysyllabic words. So syllable is very simple. It is the smallest sound units. When we utter a word, we will make a pause in between the letters or the sounds of that word and that is called a syllable. The smallest sound units of a word. 
And I think it's very clear to you because there is no much confusion between